and welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria, and we've got um, well, she is now uh, she's a she's a I I'll say mommy Gio. Well, as a woman. <laughs> But actress, entrepreneur, Sean Oshigbeson. I pronounced it well, did I? Yes, yes, I tried. you tried. <laughs> it is great to have you. You are thank welcome. Thank you, thank you. You're thank welcome. You so it's been a long while we saw you on our screens. I know you've addressed it before, you've spoken yeah. about it and all of that. But moving forward now, after that project, have you done anything? Were you planning to do anything in the movie scene or and all of that? Oh, yes, I've done two. Okay. Yeah, one series and um, the other was a movie. Hmm. Yeah. But now you are into full-time ministry. Yes. Let's talk about that. How, how, how did it so happen that you, get, you got into full-time ministry? Let's talk about all of that. Uh, well, I've always known, mm. yeah, yeah, since I've been on the show, I've always known that there will be a time that I'll have to leave, you know, and join my husband fully and all. Yeah, because um, <laughs> I've known that even um, right when I got married, Yes, yeah, so I know that there will be a time. So I was just waiting for the time. And when time was up for me on the show, the show. I, I moved. Yes. Does, it, does it, how, now, being a full-time minister and all of that, does it affect, it will definitely affect the kind of rules or things you want to do yeah. as an actor yeah. or as an actress. What are, the, what are the boundaries that you can cross because of what you do? Uh, well, okay, so um, I get questions like, oh, can you kiss in a movie, being a pastor's wife, this one and that. And I'm like, it's your job. Bro. It's mm. your job you are doing, actually. It's just professional. It's, if it is in the script, you're doing it. So far, emotions are not, um, you know, uh, um, strings are not attached. So you can do it? Oh, no, I'm, I'm okay, just... Yeah, come here. You yeah. Okay. You know, so professionally, mm. you're just doing your job. That's it. Mm. But... The thing is, for someone like me, yeah, there is a height that God takes you to, that there are some things that you actually don't need them. Mm. Yes, you, they're, they're like weights, you know, so you, you actually, you have moved up to a level, you know, okay. in your walk with Christ. So you actually don't need, you know, there are some roles that you don't need, you know, to play just to, you know, prove a point that you're being professional and all of that. So for me... I think I've moved up there, so I don't think I, I actually... You can't, that. you can't do that. Yeah. So, to, now, this is something to a number of actors and actresses coming up who have this kind of thing whereby they are, they are fate, things that they believe in, and then when they have to go and all that, how can they balance it to so the young ones coming up who might not be as mature as you or who might not understand what it takes? How can they balance where they are in situations where, you know, there are some times where, Okay, maybe uh, I've, I've had this way people were told that they got into, a, into maybe they got a script and they were not told they were going to do this, okay. but then in the middle of it, they were now, mm. they had to be forced to do things like yeah. that and that, it, that, that they feel it's at variance with their fate. Okay. How do they, uh, you know, well, manage such situations? Okay, uh, before you got the job, you, you saw the scripts, mm. you, you read through. Okay, so I think you should have done your due diligence before taking up a role. What if it's like a series know that is what going? it entails. Know what you're going to do. You mm. can't get on set without knowing what you're expected to do. Okay, so you're expected to talk to your director, your producer, you know, your scriptwriter, if you can, you know, your, especially your director about, oh, talk about the role, talk about the character, talk about what he expects of you. You know, so those are the things that you have in mind and then you get on set and then, you know, interpret it. So if you cannot go on set and be naive mm. and, and say that, oh, this caught me unawares. No, nothing can catch you unawares mm. on set mm. concerning your role. But <laughs> then, it should catch you Exactly. You, nothing it sh should not Nothing should catch you unaware. So it's, it's unprofessional for something to just catch you unawares. Oh, I didn't know I was going to do this. You people did not tell me that. No, no, no. Mm. You're being unprofessional. Okay. Have you read the script? So mm. if it is, when you read the script, if it's something you can do, oh, why not? Because this thing has to do with conscience. Mm. It has to do with personal. So you're saying that there are no, it's no, it's not black or white. No, no, no. You know, I've told you that. If you get on set as a Christian and you're expected to do this and you took up the job, 
then do it if you feel you can because you're being professional okay i've, I've told you yeah, that before definitely it is your work do your job that's it okay exactly let me now we are in a generation where people get to ask questions this is to you as a minister there's been so many people have been talking about where you offer service in the house of god mm -hmm. and then people talk about do you get paid you know for instance if if you were to um, you know, get the services of an electrician. You, you pay the person to do the job, and then, but then you have somebody who's maybe serving in the house, an instrumentalist, someone in the choir, yeah. and all of. And that debate has been going around. Should you be paid for serving in the house of God, as it were? Since your service normally, if you are a person, should be free. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, <laughs> of course, yes, people should get paid. Mm. Yes, for me, for me, if. They are not church members, mm. and you need oh, this you need someone to do this for the church, mm. and you want to get the professional. Mm. <laughs> then they deserve to be paid. You can't mm. say because it is church, let's just do it for God. I do it for God now. No, 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 no. Mm. It's more like an organization. Mm. Okay, you need someone's services, and you get the professional get pay them but if you know that you cannot pay manage the church members that you have mm. manage them let them do it and yes. take it like that mm. but if you want a professional please pay them what would you pay have out there for fans who would love to see you more on screen do you have any projects coming up quite soon is there anything that you can watch out for if you want to see they should just come to church <laughs> what? What, what, what do you have for them there, for your fans? What people have missed you? Because quite a number of people have missed you. And I, I get that a lot where can on we IG. See you next? <laughs> or just let it, or do, should we just come to church and say, ah, okay, let's say, uh, Mommy Gio, this well, is where it is. Well, uh, for now, mm. I, I can't say, but one thing I know is that I'm coming back into the industry. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. But for now, I, I can't say. So we should just keep tabs and ensure exactly, that we can. Exactly. But I am coming back. Back Definitely, we missed you. You're yeah. quite, you're quite, you're quite very Thank good at you. what you do. I'm Thank looking forward you. to what you have next. I hope you're not. Are you fasting this this, this month? Are you fasting? <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not. Ah. <laughs> okay, because we have breakfast for you. I know it's January time. There's a lot of fasting going on and all of that. Yeah. But we have we have something for we're you. We're done with our fasting. You're done with that. Yes. Eh? All right. Okay. So, all right. Let's uh, take care to the kitchen. Let's uh, let's.